Happy Thursday, Jace. I'm Hannah Sanders. And I'm Marcella Reeder. We have a great episode coming at you with Liberty Live in three, two, one. So I know the last few days have been kind of foggy and a little bit cloudy, and we've had some really strange temperatures. How have you felt about that, Marcella? You know, I'm just really surprised, you know, with everything coming up in the solstice mm -hmm. and it getting warmer. I'm really excited for warm weather mm -hmm. and getting out. Let's head it over to Brett to see about the weather. Well, guys, today is a pretty average day. It's going to be partly cloudy with the wind heading northwest at 15 miles an hour. That's that way. And the humidity at 43% with a high of 51 and a low of 26. Tomorrow is going to be sunny with a high of 55 and a low of 45. And Saturday is going to be mostly sunny with a high of 67 and a low of 51. That's all I have for you guys today. Back to the front desk. Thanks, Brett. I'm definitely excited for the warmer temperatures, especially with spring break coming up. Do you have any plans for spring break, Marcella? Um, I'm actually going to Palm Springs, California. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the desert, so hopefully I don't get too sunburned. But otherwise, I'm really excited. Yeah. So let's head it over to Peyton here about Throwback Thursday. Thank you, guys. Obviously, it's Throwback Thursday, so let's go ahead and throw it back to 1836, when Texas declared its independence from Mexico and a temporary government was formed. Although on this day, also on this day, in history, Rutherford B. Hayes was declared the winner of the 1876 presidential election. Also on the day in history, almost everyone's favorite childhood author, Dr. Seuss, was born today in 1904, writing books like Green Eggs and Ham, Oh, the Places You'll Go, and Cat in the Hat, all known for his rhyming and colorful illustrations. King Kong had its world premiere in New York in 1933, and more recently, in 2004, NASA announced that the Mars rover Opportunity had discovered evidence that water had existed on Mars in the past. And lastly, in 2011, Steve Jobs unveiled I Apple's iPad 2 today. That's all I have for you guys today. Now back to the front desk. Thanks, Peyton. You know, I definitely have loved Dr. Seuss's book and my childhood. They were one of my favorite books. So it's been a lot of interesting history that we've had today. Yeah, and I, like the iPad that came mm -hmm. out. That's so weird that it was so long ago, but it feels right. like just Especially like last with, year. Like all the products and everything. That's totally yeah. crazy. <laughs> but since uh, we have a throwback and we've been looking at the past months and past histories, as you know, last February was Black History Month and reporters brought more information for you. So let's take a look. In 1926, a young African-American historian named Carter G. Woodson first dubbed the month of February as Black History Month. During this month, we reflect on the many contributions of the black activists of the past. Let's take a look at how LHS chooses to celebrate this month. Students discuss what black history means to them and why it's important. Black History Month is a month where people can all come together and celebrate black culture and achievements. It means celebrating black culture and different figures that have helped influence the civil rights movement and different figures that have helped get African Americans where they are today. Um, I'm proud to be black because it's one way I can stand out and show people that I don't let my race define me. I think it's important because so that like you know we don't forget our history and we don't repeat the past. Uh, I believe that Black History Month shouldn't just be a, like a month, it should be every day, yeah. A member of Diversity Council shares with us what they've been doing to celebrate Black History Month. We celebrated last week or the week before by people bringing in different figures like artists, so they could have been a poet or a musician or an author that has influenced them or that they really like and then we would play a song by them or like read a poem by them and then talk about how they've impacted African Americans. This has been Haley Stevenson, Jordan Autry, now back to the front desk. Speaking of Black History Month, let's head over to Olivia Book standing by with Erica Strauss and Diversity Club. I'm here with Erica Strauss, she's part of the leadership team with the Diversity Club. Now why don't you just start by telling us kind of what the Diversity Club is about. We celebrate what makes people diverse, so that could be race, sex, um, disabilities, things like that, and just like being accepting and respectful of what makes people different. Now, February obviously is Black History Month. Did you guys do anything special to celebrate that? Uh, yeah, for our first meeting, we had people bring in um, an African-American figure who 
has influenced their life in some way. So they could have been a artist, a poet, um, a singer, anyone like that has, who has helped influence black culture. That's really awesome. Um, who was the person that you brought in? Uh, I brought in Stevie Wonder. Very cool. That's all we have for today. Back to the front desk. Thank you very much, Olivia. Now, we do have some things happening in the sports world right now, and Marcella Reeder uh, interviewed Reggie Parks about an upcoming rugby tournament. Let's take a look. What's up, guys? I'm sitting here with Reggie Parks. He's on the Liberty rugby team, and we have a few questions for him. So can you tell us a little bit about what you guys hope to get out of this tournament coming up this Saturday? Uh, what we get out of this tournament this Saturday is I hope that we get first place, mm -hmm. and I hope that we execute everything uh, that we've been learning in practice and come out with a dub. Yeah. So I understand that you guys have a lot of new players. Do you think they're going to crack under pressure, or do you think they're going to do really well? Well, I don't think so because, like, we had a scrimmage Monday, and I think they did really good. Uh, a couple of our um, new players actually scored a lot of tries. Mm -hmm. So I think they'd be okay. Yeah. So you will be playing a big part this Saturday. Can you tell us a little bit about your position? Uh, well, I traded positions this year to inside center from flanker last year, and I think – they're just going to be dependent on me to do my job right, and I'm going to be dependent on them to do their job right. Mm -hmm. So it's your second year playing. Do you think your role as a leadership is helping them out? Uh, right now it is because uh, I've helped them with a couple things that they need to know, and I know they can always come to me if they need help with anything. Okay. Um, is there anything else you'd like us to know? Uh, well, if you can, be there at 11, 12, and if we win, we play at 3, and if we lose, we play at 2. Well, good luck to you guys. Thank, Thank you. you guys. Let's send it back to the front desk. Thank you, Marcella. Lumberjack Club will be meeting on Friday this week in room 609 from 715 to 8. This week we will hit the 2000 Pancake Plateau. Our special guest for this event is the superintendent of Liberty Public Schools, Dr. Tucker. I'm here with Moroni Lenart to learn more. So Moroni, what is Pancake Club? Uh, Pancake Club is uh, just a little thing that we do where uh, every morning, uh, Friday, we just make pancakes, uh, hang out, and it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. How big has this club gotten? Because I've heard a lot about it and kind of what y'all have been doing. Yeah, well, it had started off as a really small thing. It was me and, like, two other people. And we, I was literally walking around with a plate of pancakes saying, hey, who wants pancakes? Mm -hmm. And um, now I'm in there from 7 until 8 and making pancakes, mm -hmm. and we always run out. So were there any special reasons for you to start this club or like why you wanted to be in the club? Not really. I was mm -hmm. just bored. <laughs> okay, awesome. Um, do you have any special goals that you're wanting to reach since you're in Pancake Club? Um, no, not really. It's more of a, a lot of people can't really get breakfast because mm -hmm. they're rushing or something. So I just want to help out, you know? Okay, awesome. Well, thank you very much and make sure to come to this special event. Uh, before we come back, we're going to toss to a quick commercial. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, if everyone could please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For Hannah Sanders, Brett Schweitzer, Peyton Laris, and Olivia Book, and all of our amazing production crew, I'm Marcella Reeder. Have a great day, Jays.